and um, I just want to say I've worked with Gail with uh, at least two other past mayors, so you're, it's great to have uh, consistency and that's such an important uh, department. Um, and also, just for the, the mayor's office to continue funding this, because um, it's, it's really been good for Gifford Park. I'm going to show some of our past projects just to kind of get you thinking about what we've done in case it's something that might stir some um, uh, some interest in what, what you guys might be able to do, and, and also how we've gotten a lot of volunteers and, and talk about sweat equity. We've, we've got a lot of sweat in our neighborhood, and it's a real real team effort. So, um, And then I'll talk about our, our 2013 mural project a little more specifically. But I'm going to go through these real quick. Um, I like pictures, so hopefully this is okay for you guys. Our uh, community garden, we got these uh, water totes. Um, they're like a little over 100 bucks at Jones Barrel Company. And we've actually got three of them, and it's worked out fantastic for our community garden to, uh, to be able to capture water and educate uh, folks in the neighborhood about uh, water conservation. I will say uh, those three uh, compost barrels at the bottom, I would not get those again. Um, we got them, and, and they seem a little bit dangerous. We probably should have done our research a little more, but just kind of a lesson learned. We did a, a rain barrel class with, with some of our grant money uh, at the community garden where people built, uh, they came and, and they themselves uh, built 12 rain barrels for their, their home. Our uh, youth garden program, we've been doing it, um, this will be our 11th year this year at the community garden. And some of the funds went towards supplies and tools. Uh, Melora hand corner of those uh, cute little wheelbarrows are incredibly popular. We're probably going to try to get a few more of those. And, uh, and we partner with, um, in the lower left-hand corner, there's the, the truck farm. Uh, we get different speakers and, and different take-home projects for the kids. And it's every Saturday from May through August. So if you've got a community garden, um, I think it's a great investment in youth. And, and, uh, and everything we do is volunteer-based. Um, the money from the mayor's grant help for supplies and if we didn't have that we just have to scale back but it really enhances the program and just uh, one more picture of some of the activity uh, the kids learning about where seeds come from in the upper right uh, we've got chickens on the garden this year so the kids got to uh, see the chickens grow up and now they're laying eggs uh, one of the past projects a few years ago was bike racks and we installed these business district to try to get more people riding their bike into the business district uh, instead of driving and that uh, that's worked out real well and one of the bike racks is more of a bike sculpture in Gifford Park it's very decorative and we leveraged a local concrete contractor in the neighborhood to pour the concrete for some of the projects that we did and again the lower right hand corner we always try to involve kids and they're always asking how they can help especially in the park this was about 10 years ago with one of the mayor's grants, and it was a pretty big project. We got really good, high-quality benches, and these are still there. Um, I think there were eight of them. And so again, we work with a local contractor, and a lot of our volunteers help dig, form it up, and, and then uh, finish installing them. And, and these, have, these have been really uh, great for the park. And uh, last year we installed five more park benches in and around the, uh, the new playground equipment. So again, neighborhood volunteers in the upper left, there's a husband-wife team that is going at it and, uh, and it worked out real well. And uh, speaking of the, the playground equipment, we partnered with other um, funding uh, organizations to get new playground equipment. And that was about a two to three year process, but um, it was a total of about 60,000. So um, the mayor's grant helped and we just tried to work real hard to do our own fundraising and, and, and leverage uh, that money. And then uh, we had gotten, uh, again, more tools from the mayor's grant. Uh, really the, the other three pictures there show when we get a lot of people, if we've got the tools available, we can knock out a lot more work with park cleanups or, uh, or mulching and things like that. So um, that's part of our tool lending program. And we also got water in the park, so we could uh, also enhance some of the flower beds. And again, a couple of neighborhood volunteers finishing off the concrete. And they're, 
there's a uh, there's like a flush mount hydrant so we can we can help maintain those those flower gardens and you can kind of see a on the right a before and then down below and after of, of after the plantings and just a few more shots of of mayor's grant um, that, that we've gotten in the past we um, redecked and re shelter or uh, re roof the uh, park shelter which was in really bad shape I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the, on the words here, but I did want to highlight um, last year we applied for a $5,000 mural, uh, community mural, on the, uh, the south wall of the K&J Grocery on 33rd in California. And we worked with Kent Bellows Studio and the local businesses and the neighborhood association. And just a couple quick, quick facts here. Um, the um, kind of the schedule, and you'll kind of see how it, as it goes. We, um, we've been thinking about this for a couple of years and we just couldn't get the funding and, and the timing wasn't right. And this was, this was a really good project. We didn't meet every single schedule, but it was a long project, which actually was nice because it was right in the middle of the business district, very visible. Uh, people had lots of questions. They provided input while it was being, uh, um, you know, kind of while it was being done. But the, uh, there, were, uh, there were five, High school students and Kent Bellows had a mentoring program so those students went out into the, into the community interviewed community members in different uh, different groups in our, our neighborhood uh, they came to a neighborhood association meeting uh, Weston Thompson was, was uh, who uh, leads the uh, Kent Bellows studio he was great to work with and we got together prior to the grant they submitted a proposal and we talked quite a bit about it so there was a lot of planning uh, we identified key members of our neighborhood that would participate so that we had a game plan and, and really the grant process and i got to say this it really helps shape the success of the project if you follow it so it's you know there's very clear rules and the more work you do up front it just makes it go really smooth um, as you go so and some of the results and impact and i'll just hit a few of these um, you know public safety crime beautification we felt like this was an area that everybody sees and the more beautiful it is there's gonna be more people are gonna to want to bike walk look at it see if they see something different um, some of the people that in, were involved with kind of the design ideas some of those those ideas got put into it so they would, uh, would come down to, to check that out uh, inspiration we were trying to get more of a kind of a green artsy culture in Gifford Park uh, with a lot of young people and young families in the neighborhood so um, we always encourage that it was a great learning experience for the uh, you know for everybody but it really kind of identified a lot of the assets of the neighborhood you know history is huge um, you know, the people places stories and buildings so that was part of the part of the mural and obviously uh, recruiting volunteers the, um, I think we Really worked hard on that and then the economic development again trying to improve the image of the 33rd in California area which, which has not always been stellar but it's um, I always tell people it's two steps forward one step back so and, and then the evaluation working with police on uh, you know crime statistics I mean we feel like crime has gone down uh, I know the cold weather probably has something to do with that too but but really feel more people in the neighborhood just adds uh, more safety factor it has not been graffitied yet knock on wood uh, the growth of our Friday night market is we're already seeing that this year as we're planning the market and again great opportunities for lots of people to be involved with 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 the process so and strategies the only thing I want to point out here is I talked about the, the top part the community involvement all the different organizations you know, like the community bike shop our youth garden program our neighborhood board the businesses Big Money Urban Farm, the vendors, Campbell Studio, everybody provided input, and then uh, it just makes it a much more successful project. And then below are the key contact people that we wanted to get on board right away. So they're engaged early and, and they're not left out. So things like this were happening to that building. And, and I'm just gonna go through pictures now. Of, uh, that's kind of how the, the wall looked. Not a very attractive wall. 
at all. And, and uh, so at the top, the Kent Bellows students are beginning to engage the uh, youth gardeners. And this was a session that we had early on with our youth garden program in May, where the, uh, the mentor and the students, the art students, came and we laid out this big sheet of paper where uh, it wasn't just kids, but mostly kids, put down what they liked about the Everett Park, what they wanted to see, a lot of garden stuff. And this was just a very small portion of the result of, of what they put down. Again, we've got chickens, so there's a big chicken in there.